So you're a beginner and you want to calculate your macros. You've gone online, you've looked at some macro calculators, and to be honest, you find the whole thing just a little bit confusing. It's not a problem. I'm here to present a simple solution. So a bit of background, caloric requirement calculators are not, they're not an exact science. For example, one systematic review that looked at four of the most commonly prescribed caloric equations showed that even the closest one had a 10% margin of error for resting metabolic rate. And once you open this up to activity multipliers, that room for error expands even further. For example, non-exercise activity thermogenesis can vary wildly depending on your occupation. A very highly active job could burn 1500 calories per day more than a desk job, for example. So I use several macro calculators with my own stats, and the number of calories that I was prescribed varied from 1,285 calories to 3,150 calories per day. Yes, that is super helpful, thank you. So it's fair to say that you can expect potentially very large degrees of inaccuracy with the numbers that you are prescribed. Now to make things harder, accurately tracking the number of calories you consume is notoriously difficult, and misreporting your caloric consumption is prevalent. So one study showed that people under-reported the number of calories they consumed by 47% and over-reported the number of calories they burned by 51%. So basically, you are trying to hit a very, very rough ballpark number, which is constantly moving, by the way, with your own caloric intake, which has a very, very large margin of error anyway. Hmm. Needless to say, this is far from an exact science, and this is probably one of the major reasons why so many people think they aren't getting the results they want when they think they're eating the right number of calories for them. Because realistically, that might not be the number of calories that they actually need, and that isn't the number of calories they're actually consuming. And although I paint this kind of bleak picture, all is not lost, and there is a very, very simple way around this. So rather than worrying that you have to consume X number of calories and then changing your diet to suit that, flip it around and focus on what you're consuming right now. For example, if you think, just think, if you think that you're consuming 2,000 calories per day and you do that over the course of a week, if your body weight is staying static, you know that you are consuming around maintenance calories. Is that 2,000 calories per day perfectly accurate? Not necessarily, but it doesn't actually matter because you have identified the amount of food that you need to maintain your body weight. And realistically, people that under-report their calorie intake are probably going to do it in the long run. So if you think you're consuming 2,000 calories per day, but you're actually consuming 3,000 calories per day, it doesn't actually matter because you have identified the amount of food that you need to maintain your body weight. So track what you're eating, do it for a week or two and track your body weight or body composition and do that for a week or two and then match the two together and adjust your diet accordingly. You don't have to know exactly the number of calories that you're supposed to consume and you don't necessarily have to be sure that the number of calories you're consuming is perfectly accurate, but you have identified the number of calories you think you need to maintain your body weight and that is all you need as a starting point. So that's it. I hope it's been helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye.